Um, you know, I think we have a lot of work that needs to be done, obviously. But um, you know, guys have been working hard so far during camp. Um, you know, we've, we're only I think 11 days into it, maybe 10 practices. So uh, it, it's hard to make a judgment right now. Besides knowing that we have a lot that we still need to work on and just kind of focus on that. And um, there were some good things out here today, but. Uh, for the most part, just keep that focus of um, trying to work harder, trying to fix some things um, that might not be timing up. That way we can uh, you know, put the good things in the bad things and make them all good, and that way we can have a better team. So that's kind of where we're at right now, and uh, that's going to be the mentality all the way through the rest of the camp. It's scary when you, when you look at the weapons you have to go through. Yeah, I mean, that's, it's tremendous to have guys like that with a lot of experience, and they've been doing it. Very good job in camp, but um, we we know we still have a lot of work, and those guys are ready to work, and so that's a, a good formula there. And hopefully we can make it work and get, keep these guys going and have everyone on the same page. What improvement have you seen in Kenyon Davis? He's a guy who you know he's um he's, he's got a year under his belt and he's still very young, but he's you know physically he's got the tools. Obviously he's got great size, and he's done a good job of. Um, learning the offense from different positions so you know he can be implemented in different roles which is you know a huge help for us especially with all the depth we have at receiver and he's also done a great job of you know being physical going for the football doing a great job blocking um, some little things that you know don't really jump out on the stat page but are very helpful for uh, Paul Chains back in just uh, talk about getting him back on the field and what he brings. He, you know, he's an explosive guy obviously everyone knows how quick he is um, we want to get him the ball so that he can you know do something with it we want to get him the ball quick so that he has more time to do something with it. And, uh, you know, that, that's kind of the idea with the offense and, you know, in, in any offense, to get the ball out of our hands, get it to our playmakers. So when we have guys like him, that makes our jobs a lot easier. You know, just take a three-step, give it to him, and see what he can do. So having a guy like that uh, should be a huge help, and I'm, I'm glad he's back and healthy. Was it tough to move on without Weger this week? Um, yeah, but, you know, it's kind of like an injury. When, when someone gets injured or someone's not there, you know, we have to keep going forward. We, we, we can't we can't stop. You know, um, we'd love to have him back. He's a great guy, great player. But it, it's kind of hard to uh, stop and try to think about, um, you know, what would what would be going on if he was here. We just have to keep moving forward. And the only guys we can play with are the guys we have on our, you know, on the field right now. Do you know when he expected that? I, I haven't talked to him. Don't know any of the, the details on that. Does it speak to the depth you talk about?